everybody in YouTube land, this is Tony. I'm making this video for both channels, for Antonia Takes Two and for the WLSFA website and YouTube channel. This is an introduction to a compilation video that I made uh, with some scenery from the ASMBS 2011 in Orlando, Florida, and also pictures of some of the wonderful volunteers that were there. We were really, really lucky this year. We had quite a few surgery patients there for all sorts of reasons uh, and all of which spent some time in our booth uh, helping us spread the word about the foundation and so the first video you're going to see is just a little bit of the interior courtyard of the Gaylord Hotel in Orlando it's a very large hotel with a glass dome not really dome but a glass ceiling that encloses all of the different buildings so you have sort of an biodome or controlled environment and in such a hot, humid and rainy place like Orlando, that's fantastic. So enjoy, enjoy the look. Now it's my privilege to show you our little corner of the world. We had booth number 925 at the ASMBS and we had so many wonderful visitors that came. We met, of course, bariatric surgeons, we met bariatric program coordinators, practice managers, office managers, nutritionists, um, so many, so many great people working in the bariatric world. It was, my voice, you might still be able to hear it from talking so much, is uh, kind of worn out, but we talked and talked and talked in that little booth, and here's a look at that booth. Hi everybody in the YouTube land, this is Tony. It's kind of quiet right now. I wanted to show you our booth. That's Wendy, Mary Ellen, volunteering at the booth. That's our sign, we have that in Vegas. Our table. Here we have pictures from our meet and greet. We're telling people about the meet and greet and the foundation. There's our little twins. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Connie. You're with us, always. Here's Frank. Hey, Tony. Also volunteering. So this is our universe. They're about to serve lunch. That's what they're doing. And so there's a little lull. I wanted to share that with you. We're trying to work some miracles here. Hope your thoughts are with us. Bye. This portion of the film, we're showing um, just us goofing around in the booth. As trade shows go, there's times where it's, you know, everyone's there, they're in between going to classes or listening to speakers, and then they rush the uh, vendor areas, they're busy, 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 and then in between that, it's just, we're all alone, what are we gonna do? So we figured we'd entertain ourselves, and uh, we came up with sort of the tagline for the next meet and greet, which is kick it up a notch, right? Because we're gonna be on the strip in, in uh, Las Vegas, I'll mention the hotel soon, and. All of that. So we took a lot of pictures of people kicking their feet up, and we'll use those uh, as we start talking about the meet and greet. But just a, a couple of fun pictures uh, hanging around the booth. everyone from our booth and may I say these tickets were not easy to come by and they were so generous with us. Thank you Allergan once again, you've been great to us. Um, to their evening gala or their party and they had 
their keynote speaker was Mike Huckabee. And whether you're a Republican or Democrat or whatever, Mike Huckabee is such a fine man. He's got a great sense of humor and he's a wonderful speaker. And he's a person uh, before a politician or hopefully presidential candidate. Before any of that, he's a man who's struggled with obesity himself. And when you're in the uh, public life, it's even more brutal uh, to, to deal with obesity. And like many of us, he has family. And uh, I'm not going to show his entire talk, but here's where he talks about uh, whether or not obesity is a real problem in our country. And we can get all excited about Well, let me tell you, there is, in fact, a crisis today in America. It is a genuine one. And by the way, when people challenge me and say that there isn't, I have a little test for them. And yeah. I will suggest you try it. When you get home from this conference, go to your attic or closet or under your bed or wherever it is you keep that box of childhood mementos and you all have that box somewhere. In that box, I'm guessing that there is a picture of you and your third grade classmates. Remember that picture? You look like a bunch of refugees from a third world country. It was usually taken late in the afternoon when you were hot and sweaty and looked hideous. And for some ungodly reason, they would assemble you on the steps of the school, right out in front with the school name behind you, and all of the kids in the third grade would stand there, look at the camera, and they would take the picture, and you'd get a copy of it, typically in black and white. At least if you're as old as I am, it was in black and white, because color film had not been invented at that point. Now, in that picture. I want you to just get it out and take a look at it. That's all. Look at it. Observe it. And the following day, do this. Go to any third grade class in America. I don't care where it is. The Northeast, the Southwest. It doesn't matter what part of the country. The Midwest. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter whether it's public or private school. Parochial. Doesn't matter any third grade class in America. You don't have to say a word. All you have to do is go to that third grade class, stick your head in the door, look inside, look around that class, and tell me, do you observe anything significantly different in the class that you see and in your third grade class photo? And I promise you this, if you do that little exercise, no one will ever, ever have to convince you that we have a serious... Before I show you all a compilation of some great, just goofy pictures we took of everyone there. It was a lot of hard work. Uh, it's not very entertaining to uh, videotape people who are talking and discussing, going over the same thing over and over again. But basically our talk went, went like this um, as people came to the booth, that WLSFA has worked for the last 12 months to build the network of weight loss surgery patients to pull together thousands upon thousands of patients to donate money and resources and our skills, volunteering, to raise money um, to, to grant weight loss surgery and reconstructive plastic surgery to people who cannot get it on their own. That these are the people who have tried everything and hit, hit a brick wall and we want to help them with the grant. And that we've been able to do that, that we've been able to fund two grants and almost a third, largely on, our, on, on the, the, the efforts of the patient we're asking the professionals in the medical, medical community, the practices, the surgeons themselves, um, hospitals, to give us their charitable dollars, uh, pay it forward close to home to the community that you deal with every day, and also to help us with the uh, surgeries. And, and that was really well received and also they understood needed. And then we talked about the other, the third leg, which is to bring in corporate America. So our network of care that we're building nationwide is a cross between patients, medical professionals, and the corporations that um, are associated to the bariatric world to make our network of care so that we can give you know, grants to people to help save and change lives. Um, as long as the situation is in the United States where people can have insurance but be exempted from, from these kinds of surgeries, we need to be there and that message was heard loud and clear. So that was what we were saying every day, and people were giving us their cards, asking us to follow up, pledging that they wanted to be part of our network of care, and we will be following up with that. You know, as soon as I get back from Washington, tomorrow I go to Washington, D.C. I was invited by the Obesity Action Coalition to be part of a group to talk about obesity on Capitol Hill, which is my great honor, and I thank you, uh, OE, 
Tracy and Joe Miglowski for being uh, so kind to myself and our foundation. Um, as soon as I'm back from that, we will be working hard to follow up on all those leads and add and build to a network of care. And um, also, uh, by the end of the month, we'll be putting out everything about the uh, fundraiser for next May in Las Vegas, the, uh, the next annual weekly. So until then, I want you to enjoy some of these pictures. A lot of them were goofy. You know, when you're working really hard all day, you have a good time. And, and you know, people, other people at booths at the trade show were coming up to us and saying, why are you guys and why are you having such a good time? And I just said, you know, we're, we're people who have been given our lives back and we're just happy about it. I hope you guys are all enjoying your lives. Have a great weekend. I can't wait to go forward. Thank you, Wendy, for being at the booth. Jeff Haga for being at the booth. Cindy Inkpen for being at the booth. Yvonne and Carrie and Mary Ellen and Frank and so, so 